widely cultivated in Jamaica and in other tropical and subtropical regions around the world, the sweet sop tree is highly prized for its creamy mouth-watering fruits. But did you know that this tree has important medicinal value and that extracts from various parts of the tree have been used for years in ethnomedicine to treat a wide range of illnesses? Well, if you didn't know and you'd like to know more about the latter, we're going to be exploring the medicinal uses of the sweet sop tree, some of the health benefits of its fruits, as well as other uses of this multi-purpose tree. And we're going to be starting right now. So stick around for the next round. The sweet sop tree is scientifically known as Anona squamosa. In Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as sweet sop, but in other parts of the world, people also call it custard apple, sugar apple, and anona, among many other names. There are different varieties of sweet sop, and here in Jamaica, we also have a pink variety. It's a part of the Anone CE plant family, which has about 2,400 species of plants. If you're familiar with Sawasop, which is this plant, it's also a part of this family. And the genus is called Anona. In Jamaica, sweet sop trees can be found growing wildly and organically along roadsides, in people's yards, and in other green spaces. In terms of its characteristics, it can grow to a height of about 3 to 8 meters tall. This is what the trunk looks like. And these are the branches. So as you can see, it is much branched. These are the leaves. They can be simple or unifoliate and they are usually elliptic to oblong in shape. They also have smooth edges and are alternately arranged on the stem. The leaves also come in different sizes. This is a flower. It's fragrant and as you can see, it hangs down from the stem and it can either be singly or in groups of two to four. The tree produces this fruit, and as you can see, it has a knobby surface. This is a young fruit. The knobs on the young fruits are usually close together, but as the fruit matures, the knobs widen, and that's an indication that they're ready to be harvested. But here in Jamaica, we usually put them down in storage for a day or two, after they have been harvested to allow them to ripen some more before we eat them. The reason why we harvest them before they are ready to be eaten is because if we leave them on the tree to ripen more, they either burst open or birds or other animals will get to them before we do. This is a fruit that is ready to be eaten. At this stage of maturity, the fruit becomes soft to touch and separates easily. This is the pulp, which is the part that's eaten, and these are the seeds of the fruit. As you can see, there are a lot of them, and they are usually discarded after the pulp is eaten. In terms of reproduction, this plant can be propagated by seeds, grafting, and budding. In ethnomedicine, people use the leaves, young shoots, roots, seeds, bark, and fruits to treat different maladies. In Ayurveda, which is an Indian traditional system of medicine, it is said that a root decoction is taken internally to treat diarrhea, that the dried fruit powder is made into a paste and applied topically to treat ulcers that have pus. 
that to treat fungal infections of the skin, the leaf and root paste is used topically and that for head lice, people use the root decoction to wash the head. Also, to control blood sugar in diabetics, it is said that the bark decoction is taken internally and that for coughs and the shortness of breath, they mix the leaf powder with honey and use it as an expectorant. The fruit pulp is said to act as a tonic for cardiac muscles and in other traditional medicine systems, it is said that the leaf and the fruit infusion is used as a digestive aid and to treat rheumatism. That the powdered seeds are useful for getting rid of parasites and people use them to kill head lice and fleas. That to treat sleeplessness, the leaf oil is placed on the head and the bark and leaf is combined with sour sop to make an infusion which is used as a sedative and that the young shoots are combined with peppermint to treat cold and chills and that people in Cuba use the leaves to help lower uric acid levels in the blood. It is also said that the leaves, shoots, bark and roots are all astringents and are used to treat dysentery and diarrhea, that the leaves are used to treat cancerous tumors and are applied to abscesses, insect bites and other skin troubles, that the root bark scrapings are used for toothaches and that crushed leaves are sniffed to help people to get over hysteria and fainting spells and they are applied on ulcers and wounds. Sweet sops can promote digestive health. They can help to boost your immunity because of their high vitamin C content. They're good for heart health because they're rich in potassium and magnesium. They're rich in iron, so they can help to prevent anemia. They're great for the skin in a lot of ways. For example, they can help to rejuvenate the skin and they can help to reduce signs of aging among other things. Research has also shown that they have chemicals that have anti-cancer potential and can prevent tumor cells from growing and reduce our chances of developing cancer. They're also great for digestive health and they're good for your hair because they can help to promote hair growth among other things. They're also a natural detoxifying agent. Apart from eating the fruits raw, the fruits pulp can be used to make jams and jellies, juices, ice cream, and sherbets. The bark is said to be useful for cordage. The tree is said to be a good source of firewood. And ground seeds soaked in water are said to be useful as a poison for fish. The seeds are said to be poisonous and should not be eaten. It is also said that the powdered seeds can cause great pain if it gets into the eyes, so one should exercise great care when using it. That's it for now guys. For your own benefit and safety, please do your own research and see you in the next video.